Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. This one's going to be about how to make your text gradient in PhotoP. If you don't know, it's super easy and it's very useful for designing thumbnails, banners, whatever you want. I always use it, so you should too. So let's get to it. All right, so I currently have a gradient background. I'm gonna type some text. So you just wanna type something with your text tool. I'm gonna do my name and just hit that little check mark. Uh, you can find whatever font you want. I'm just going to find something real quick. Just I'm going to go with bangers. And I'm going to turn up the size a little bit. Okay, so now we can see the text. All you want to do is just double click on your text layer and you'll see a little layer style box pop up. This is where you can do all of your effects. And the gradient overlay one is right here. You just want to check that box to apply it. Click the box to start changing the settings. And from here, we're going to go to gradient. So just click this little color box right here. And there are some colors that pop up. Basically what it is, is this is the bottom and this is the top color. So you can see it goes from dark red to gray. So in order to change these colors, all you want to do is just double click on one of the boxes. And it should pop up a color picker. So here you can choose whatever color you want to go with. So say I want to go with like green. And well, usually the bottom color should be darker than the top color. So I'm going to turn the top one to really bright green and then dark green. So it has a cool little um, fade effect. So then once you're done with that, you just hit OK. But if you want to add even more colors, you just click anywhere and you can change the colors like I showed you before. So I could have red, I could have blue. And this is actually how I made my um, logo. I added a bunch of colors to make it look like retro. That'll do it. So. There are some more settings. You can turn the scale up or down. For the retro style, I like to keep the scale low. So it's just straight across rather than it fading like this. But you can really customize the scale if you want. Basically the opacity, the lower it is, it shows the color of the text. Like it shows through, so like it's black, so it shows all the black when it's at zero. Uh, blend mode, there's just different things you can do. Like sometimes it'll work. I just do normal though Because there's no point of doing the others honestly Reverse just reverses the colors and the style so there's different types of gradients you can do like radial is like a circle um, You could just try any of these if you want, but I prefer linear or radial, but I only do linear honestly, so Linear and this and that's really it a little trick I like to do is add an inner glow when I have gradients and I like to choose the color of the top color and then I just go to normal opacity turn the spread up and it kind of gives it a cool look so that's what I like to do but I hope this helped you guys if it did leave a like subscribe don't forget to join our discord down in the description below and I'll see you guys in the next video peace out